Welcome, hey Greg. Welcome, welcome, guys. <laughs> Just me. Just want to say hi to everybody. you could do aside from the parks. Oh wow, that's freezing. Welcome Kathy, welcome Kate. We have some gear over here. We also have a bowling alley, so they have some nice indoor bowling. Um, lots of fun things to do. We've got a beautiful Christmas tree. Adults can get some adult beverages. A lot of people looking for indoor activities, I guess, because it's a little chilly for Orlando. <laughs> it's not snowing yet. Um, I know the welcome. Yeah, we've got some tons of gaming. It's pretty awesome. You start off here and you register. You basically, like, you know, your life away. No, it's just like a waiver. You basically sign in and then because there's like a ropes course, there's also different heights. So, you know, if you're a child, you're with a child, it tells you all the different heights and weights and stuff that's required. There's racing, there's a ropes course, there's laser tag, there's a dark ride, and um, yeah, they just different measurements. So, make sure they're tall enough to do certain things, but there's lots of things for everybody. This, and this is where you go next. You basically purchase everything separately for the uh, arcade, the racing, the attractions. Um, I went ahead and bought the Andretti like VIP membership because it's not a bad deal. It's $14.95 for a family of six. You can add up to six people on that account and you get a discount on everything, including gaming, food, merchandise, everything. Being that we're local, totally worth it. So, and they also sell um, $25 gift cards, which you can apply to that at Costco. So Costco has the Andretti Racing Card, so just FYI. Or 
to do if you need a break from the park scene now or just something else to do? I'm going back to the park tomorrow. So we are gonna have an awesome New Year's Eve extravaganza. We are uh, gonna be streaming live for the grand opening of the Edison tomorrow. So we're gonna be looking spiffy and taking you guys with us to the grand opening of the Edison at Disney Springs tomorrow. So, yes, tomorrow we are gonna be taking you with us to the grand opening tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, we will definitely be doing that for sure. for the grand opening of the Edison. The Edison is opening tomorrow. Kind of a big deal. So we're going to be checking that out and it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I've been a main event also, Greg, because I went to see um, Star Wars at that one. Yeah, that one's dead. The last time I went in there, there was nobody in there, but it was also a weekday. It's Saturday night and I guess there's a bar up there too. Oh! This is the race. <laughs> this is the uh, race tracks, I guess. Just want to see if I could. Let's we can go peek in there. Uh, the Edison is. Oh my gosh! It's a giant structure that's being been built for like the past year. It's a. Uh, it's got a restaurant. It has. Um, Helmets over there. I think you can watch people up top. Let's go do that. Um, the Edison is the giant structure being built right next to SDK. It's overlooking the water. It's going to have Pizza Ponte. It's got four different um, four different venues in one location. It has the Enzo's Hideaway Bar that was rumored to be like Walt's Neverland, Neverland Tunnel, but it's going to be called Enzo's Hideaway. Track. That looks fun. Oh, we'll go. Did I go in the wrong way to watch? I think I did. <laughs> but that's where everybody goes. This is pretty cool. Hey, Margie. So this is another track up here, and I think there's more. Oh, there's a bar up here. Sweet. Let's check. I think I went the wrong way. There's the bar. <laughs> All right, so this is the Sky Bar, I believe. Oh yeah, very cool. Kind of overlooking everything. We are at Andretti, Andretti Indoor Parking and Games. Just finding other things to do indoors, because it's chilly <laughs> on a Saturday night. I think everybody has the same idea, though. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Back at Magic Kingdom, I say January 2nd. <laughs> it is extremely, extremely busy right now, and I know a lot of people are blacked out. So, either the first or the second, I believe the second, I have um, planned to go back to Magic Kingdom on the second. So, oh, that's pretty cool. There's some like sharp turns up in here. I believe they're electric cars, so it doesn't have that like stinky gasoline smell. It looks pretty fun though. Yeah, don't worry, they'll be back at the park soon enough. <laughs> so there's a bar up here. I'm so sorry. Here we go. ETV, so a good place to watch things. Yeah, they are electric. Wow, it's cold. We're shot downstairs. I prefer electric. It doesn't smell so bad, you know. <laughs> it's just a brand new place. Thought to check it out. Something new and different. There's other things in Orlando aside from theme parks. We were just giving you guys options and things to see. Yeah, everybody's out and about tonight for sure.
do that ropes course tonight. That looks like fun. I like climbing things. I'm not afraid of heights, so that looks interesting. I've always wanted to do a ropes course. Oh, wow. Center. So it's literally on Universal Boulevard and Convention Way. So right across the street from the Convention Center. So that's where they have MegaCon and all sorts of different fun things going on. Con you know, it's our big comic convention in May. So I'll take you guys with me then. I'm definitely going. I already have my uh, hotel book for that. This is the front of Andretti. Time. Oh. Time management, time management. <laughs> I have to be at work at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Well, not the crack of dawn. I'll be at work at 8.30 tomorrow. But, you know, I work six days a week. So I only have one day off, which is now Saturday. So, but I prefer it that way. I like being busy. And let's see how cold it is right now. It is not that cold. It feels like it. <laughs> Does. I think it's 60 something. Up. Nope, 71. That's not it. That was the highest 71 earlier. There we go. Trying to check the weather. Up. Because I am in airplane mode. Why do they do that? All right. It feels good out here. This is at um, Andretti Indoor Karting and Games here in Orlando still. We are right on International Drive. Very, very close to the Orlando Convention Center, which is directly in front of us. It's also right next to Top Golf, which also opened right next door. We'll have to hit that up a different time because I definitely want to go there as well. Hey, Sherry, welcome. We're at Andretti. Yep, 55. It feels really good, though, because it was warm in there. Um, just something different to do. It is, like, right by, like, the Orlando Eye, you know, the giant Ferris wheel. I think we can see it from this direction, because that's the convention center right there. The Eye is right over here, around the corner. It's about, like, it's very, very close to Universal, and maybe about 15, 10, 15 minutes from Disney. Just something else to do aside from the parks, you know, if you maybe have a few hours to kill or you're going down to International Drive and going shopping and checking out the stores and stuff. 
definitely check out Andretti. Mm, I think you can barely see that. There's the Orlando Eye. There you go, guys. There's the Orlando Eye, the giant Ferris wheel. There it is. Yeah. You can't walk to Disney from here. Unfortunately, in Florida, you gotta drive everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much you can walk to unless you're on Disney property. You have to remember that Disney property is like 52 square miles. It is the size of San Francisco. Can't really walk very much <laughs> unless you're walking from like the boardwalk to Epcot. <laughs> you know, even then, that's like five minutes and then another 20 minutes to Hollywood Studio. So there's the Orlando Eye, which is like Point Orlando, the main hub of International Drive, a lot of restaurant shops, good shopping and eating to do, a lot of fun stuff to do over here too. Um, and here's the side of Andretti. And everything is very close. And there's the Orange County Convention Center. So that's where we are in perspective. We're right on Universal Boulevard and Convention Way. Um, yeah, it's probably like five minutes from Universal and probably 10 to 12 minutes from Disney. Oh, perfect. Yeah, definitely. A lot of um, more inexpensive hotels for sure. If you're not going to be in your room anyway and staying on Disney property isn't a priority to you, it is de and, and definitely they have shuttles and stuff everywhere. You can Lyft or Uber. Absolutely. I drive is the best place because once you're on I drive, you can walk to all the restaurants and shops there. There's a lot to do. I, I'm staying down here for the uh, celebration of Harry Potter and for MegaCon as well because it is here at the, at the Orange County Convention Center. There's like a trolley you can take. There's um, shuttles to the parks. There's lots of different ways you can get to the parks from I drive. Honestly, it's not that hard. You know, it just if if staying on property is not a priority to you, why not? You know, there's more things you could do out here too. Yes, I am at absolutely, you know? Just depends on what you're there for. I would always stay on property if I could, you know, but some people may do a mixed vacation, like you're wanting to do some Disney, some Universal and you know, you're never going to be in your room. You're literally just going to be at the parks all day, definitely. Or checking out other Orlando sites. We are at Andretti Indoor Karting and Games. Yeah. Yes, I've been at Disney. Sorry, guys. Disneyland is my first park. I was, uh, I was born in California, so yes, I've been at Disneyland. I'm hoping I can get back there maybe next October um, to film. That would be so awesome. All right, we're back in the thick of things here. So, okay, let's go find Rob and Jimmy. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look-see, look around. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned tomorrow night.
Jimmy just hit the thousand ticket. What? You On his second spin. Dang, Jimmy. Big money, big money. It's still freaking counting his tickets. Oh, wow. Look at that. Jimmy won a thousand tickets. Well, I can try. They want to see me play a game. I can play this game. This is easy. All right. What do you do with it? You just swipe, swipe your card and then you lift the lever and slam it down. Don't break your wrist though. Yeah, <laughs> because it's no, no, don't lift the lever. Swipe oh, your card. You have a, this way? Yep. Stripe down, I think. Oh, yeah, stripe down. Counting tickets. Please oh. Wait. Okay. We tied up the machines, but the one that I did is going to be done much, much before the one that Jimmy is. Jimmy so awesomely won the uh, thousand tickets on. It's still counting. Lift it up. 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 Lift it One more. We'll try it again. And Jimmy already got a thousand tickets. We can't let him play no more. He's going to show us all up. Tickets. It's okay. I don't have and to. And he goes you. in your card. <laughs> this is still counting Jimmy's thousand tickets. Look at that, you guys. Dang. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, Jimmy. Oh, Nobody my. can play that machine now because of you, Jimmy. That's right, Jimmy. Is, uh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, it we is. We played Mario Kart. It was totally fun. Oh, play it again. Part, which is nice. You're not running around with little tickets everywhere. I also played Injustice and got a Lex Luthor card. Woo! Fun! That's awesome. I want to go on the ropes course. <laughs> I don't think they'll let you film up there, though. No, you're going to have to film me. Yeah, can you imagine? I fall down and go boom, trying to film. <laughs> okay, find a different game. They want to see you play a different game. These are these two are the big gamers here that are really good. We were, we were waiting for Mario. Kart, I want to do MotoGP because I'm pretty good on a faux motorcycle. Look at this claw. Hmm. Where's the Mario Kart? That looks like fun. Yeah, it was right there. Oh, it's over there. Oh, 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 right there. Gotcha. Now ah, let's see. Let's find something fun. You want to do MotoGP? Motorcycle game? It's over there. That's the only one that I'm actually going to probably be good at. Ooh. A water game? What do you mean? Do we have water games? A water game? What do you mean?
ski ball. It's a ski ball game. Maybe a fishing game. I didn't see a fishing game.
the, it's right next to Top Golf. These two fun entertainment complexes just opened in November, so. bowling alley over here. Let me go walk you guys over there. There's virtual reality gaming, um, laser tag, a ropes course, three different tracks for indo indoor go-karting. Go so there's a lot of different things you can do. Yeah, just something different. Um, a lot of people are here tonight, just I guess, you know. <laughs> Something else to do that isn't, um, you know, the parks or anything like that. Yeah, the carding is fun. We went up there to take a look at the course. I don't know if you caught that or not, but we can go up there again. It's pretty neat. Watch the game if you know you're here, 
you need an afternoon off to hang out, the kids can run around and play games and you guys can just have him fun adult time and just watch games and sit down for a little bit, you know? Something to do. Um, the Vineland Outlet, not far. I'd say probably seven, eight minutes. Yeah, that one is just called the Character Warehouse. Make sure it's at the Vineland Outlet. If you are taking an Uber, just let them know. So,